Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe and become part of the family. So today's video, I'm going to be installing the Nala Trek Butterfly Locks that I got from Janet Collection. What I want to do is just show you guys how I start off by sectioning my hair and using some jam. Now I am going to use the rubber band method because I have shorter hair and I want to make sure that the locks actually stay. Of course if your hair is longer you can of course braid it. Um, I have seen that where a lot of people have braided their hair into individual braids and then they crocheted the locks in. So of course that obviously is an option. but once you have parted your hair and have all the ponytails, this is exactly how it should look. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of demonstration of how I got my hair parted. I am going to start with the 14 inches at the front because I wanted to be more of a bob. So I wanted to go from long to short and be kind of more even towards the back if that does make sense. Now one thing that I will suggest, I will suggest that you make the parting in the front um, bigger than what I actually have. I did um, go back and actually I took some of my ponytails down so I combined it like two of the section, sections into one and just made the part a little bit bigger. Um, one thing you want to do is make sure that your rubber band is not too tight because of course you want to have enough room to actually put the lock in. And one thing I do like about these locks is the actual hole, like the hook, I don't, the loop is what I'm trying to say. So the loop at the top. They give you enough room to actually make that loop wider, if that makes sense. So you can have enough room to actually put it underneath the rubber band as well as, um, you know, get the crochet hook into there and then put it into your hair. So they give you more than enough room. It's not too tight. It's loose. So I definitely like that. But as you can see here, I just took some Marley hair and I cut it in half then I cut it into fours because I don't need very much hair at all. All this Marley hair is going to do is help wrap my natural hair and make it blend in with the lock. Um, and all you have to do with this is basically just make sure you have one side longer than the other. So like the shorter side can be the same length as your natural hair. You just begin to wrap it. And what I do suggest is that you wrap it down and then go back up, like wrap it up, wrap it down, wrap it up, basically go back and forth like that until you get to the very end of the piece of hair. Um, that would actually secure the Marley hair and make sure that you're not actually, make sure that the uh, Marley hair is not unraveling. One other thing that I suggest is make sure you're wrapping, don't wrap it too tight, but wrap it enough where it is covering the rubber band. Also, one other thing is the Marley, not the Marley, I'm sorry, my mind is all over the place. The lock, it will tend to be, like the knot at the top will probably be a little bigger. So if you want to make that small, smaller or appear to be smaller, all you have to do is wrap the Marley hair a little bit tighter around and it will make that knot look more natural. Um, one other thing that you can do with the Marley hair if you do not want to continue on like wrapping it, you know, back and forth, up and up, up and down, up and down, um, all you have to do is knot it at the end or add some nail glue so it won't unravel at that point. Um, that is another suggestion. I did not do that because I do not plan on keeping these locks in for very long. I just needed it in for, you know, a week or two if I... I don't know how long, honestly, I'm going to keep it in, but, you know, long enough. The nail glue and the knotting would definitely keep it secure. I made sure that I pulled the rubber band a little bit just to give it enough space, as well as there's no need for the parting of your natural hair to be too tight. Um, because once you start wrapping, it is going to get tighter. And I don't know about y'all, but I definitely don't like for my hair to be too tight. It's hard to sleep in. So I did make sure as I was going through, I learned to just actually loosen my parts as much as possible. And like I said, a good thing about the wrapping is it does make it a lot tighter. So, But you know, another thing about butterfly locks, since it's already like a messy, distressed look, you don't have to worry about wrapping it too neatly. 
um, and then also your roots. Your roots don't have to be as clean. You know, it can be more of that natural grown out look. And that's actually what makes faux locks look so natural is when your roots have grown out a little bit. So that is, you know, just a little tip. I did, I don't know what happened with this lock, but you'll see as I start rapping for some reason, girl, that dang on piece of Marley hair, it disappeared on me. So in the next clip or so, you will see that I added a second piece of hair. So that's another tip for you guys. If you run out of hair, you can always add a second piece and continue on wrapping. That is the good thing about actually wrapping. Now, I wouldn't say that this way definitely took less time than actually starting the butterfly lock from, you know, scratch. But it definitely did shave off some time. Especially since my hair is short, I didn't have to wrap as long. You know, you don't have to go all the way down to the end. One thing I did wish that the ends of these locks was more of that distressed, messy look. Um, the ends to me is just way too put together. I would have rather for it to be very distressed as well. But you can always like the end of the hair, it's not, you know, wrapped tightly. So you can actually pull that hair and it becomes like this spiral ends and it looks very pretty. So that that you know that's something that you guys can consider as well i'm sorry my mind is all over the place my morning has been kind of rough already but i wanted to make sure i get this voice over done for you guys Okay, so this is the final look. 
I hope you guys enjoy this video. I did do a few hairstyles just so you guys can see that you can still style it even though it is a short lock look. You can still style it and be fly as ever. So like I said earlier, I, guess, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I will talk to you in my next one. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at IamChanel08. And see you guys later. Take care.